Well, what is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Inside the Pit. I am your host, Josh Berg, and I've got a surprised reaction for you guys. Um, going through the albums uh, that dropped on this Friday, and there wasn't a ton of big name stuff. We already had, obviously, the two sleep token tracks, the Enterprise Earth track that I checked out. And then I was scrolling on Twitter, and I follow a lot of uh, metal metal guys on Twitter, and I talk to Alan from Red Herring a lot and interact with some other guys on there, and I stumbled across State of the Scene in their Twitter page, and I've been following them for years now, it seems. Part of their Discord for a while, all this stuff. And I saw this tweet about this band called Cloud Sight. And the caption that they put was, Great new band alert. So I did some research, and their first ever debut track, Pure Heaven, uh, dropped, and they were... Uh, it's featuring Roy Rodriguez, a day seeker. And I love myself some Roy Rodriguez. I've been listening uh, to Day Seeker for a while. Saw them on Warp Tour where they were very, very small. And um, I decided, you know what? Let's check this guy. Let's check this band out. Let's check to see what these guys got. Um, so I figured I'd give them some free publicity here with a reaction and review of their debut single, Pure Heaven, featuring Victor Borba, um, another metal vocalist of uh, Behind the Light. I can't exactly remember the, remember the name of his band. I'll link all his stuff in the description. He's got a YouTube channel as well. And then Roy Rodriguez, a day seeker. I'll obviously link all of day seeker stuff in the description below. And it's first single by Cloud Sight. So I'll make sure to uh, link all their stuff too. They're very, very new. It's their first ever single. Fair we check it out, see what's going on, and uh, see what it's all about. So I'm all about spreading uh, love to new, brand new bands too, and I love finding new music. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this. This is Cloud Sight and their debut song, Pure Heaven. I have no idea what to expect. I haven't checked anything out by them, any reviews, nothing. Okay. Vocal delivery right now reminds me a ton of like caskets um, or uh, Rain City Drive. Super cool instrumentation here. The guitar work is fantastic, super creative, super open. I really like the mix. You can hear all of the different layering in the instruments very, very clearly. I really like that a lot. Super awesome guitar. Super open mix too, and I've said that a few different times, but it's super, super open. I love to hear it. They have the instrumentation of a lot of these like progressive non-vocal bands, like an animal that's later um, is the one that comes to mind with the, the guitar work that's going on here. I am incredibly impressed with the musicianship here. This is, this is awesome stuff. All three guitars, the drum you can hear clearly, the mix is fantastic. I 
vocally it's strong as well. Here's Rory. Always such clean delivery with his, with his vocals. Such a distinct sound. A little bit heavier now. Love it. Yes, we we'll get it. Some electronic work. A lot of creative stuff going on here. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I wanna read this. Let's see what I have to say. Cloudsight was formed in late 2017 with the goal to create a musical musical project that we as fans would love to experience ourselves. Pure Heaven being the first original piece of that world. Thank you to Victor Borba and Roy Rodriguez for sharing their beautiful voices for this song. Thank you so much to Buster for making the sound the way it does. Thank you, sponsor. Wow. Absolutely. So, what I'm getting at... Ooh, we don't want that. Um, what I'm getting at here... Is... Uh, looks like they're an instrumentational group. Um, it's gonna have different vocalists on their uh, on their tracks. That's really really cool stuff. Like I said, I mentioned. Um, I'm gonna mute this and let this ad play through. But um, I mentioned that it sounded a lot like those progressive. Uh, there we go. Instrumentational groups. The the guitar work was super super crisp and super clean and creative. Um, Reminded me a lot of what like bands like Polyphia and Animal Animals as Leaders do with their guitar work and the openness in their mixes, um, letting each individual um, guitar and drum and bass and everything that goes into it shine through. So I'm curious to see what other vocalists they're gonna have do uh, their tracks with as they continue to, if they're gonna do any any uh, singing or vocals themselves, or they're gonna bring in a bunch of different vocalists from a bunch of different bands. Um, an artist to do vocals over over their mixes. Obviously, Victor and Rory were were on this track, and they both did a phenomenal job. Rory, um, you know, we know what he brings, and I'm definitely gonna check a lot more of Victor's band stuff now that I hear him on this track. He sounded really clear, really clean. Um, but I can't I can't say enough about the mix and the production on this song. Um, the guitar work was some of the best guitar work I've heard um, in in the scene. Like I said, they. The crispness of each chord in the guitar progressions, um, in the mix, and the creativity with the riffs. They had, obviously, the soft, mellow um, guitar riffs for, throughout a lot of the songs. They created kind of this open, ambient, softer tone mix. And then you had, during Rory's um, screaming section, kind of like a breakdown, as as you will. Um, I'm not sure if it was a true necessary breakdown, but definitely was heavier than the rest of the song. That really uh, experimented with those darker tones in the in the guitar, which I appreciate quite a bit. So, really, really cool stuff here from this band. I'm definitely gonna do a lot more research on them. See if I can find some stuff from these individual artists um, that are in this group, and definitely gonna be checking them out more. I definitely did enjoy um, this track, and uh, I like I always like finding new music for, uh, supporting younger, smaller, newer bands, and this is another example of why metal and rock music is not dead in 2023. I know it's a cliche we talk about, it, but the scene is is doing amazing stuff right now. A lot of awesome bands doing new stuff. And this is this is another one of those examples. So that was Cloud Sight, Pure Heaven, featuring Victor Borba and Rory Rodriguez. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, make sure you guys go support their stuff. I'll link all of their socials down below. I'll also link stuff from Victor and Rory's uh, different projects as well. And again, like, it, like and share and subscribe to... Uh, the channel too inside the pit if you guys do enjoy what you are seeing here with these reviews and reactions 
Uh, my Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all the stuff's going to be linked in the description down below. You guys can go drop those a follow and support there if you want to. And until the next time, my name is Josh Berg, and this is Inside the Pit.